Good morning. What a wonderful day. I have envelopes. It's a great day. And we're going to make this a cute card using a little fresh fish and our little songbird here. So sweet. Sweet. So we'll wait for folks to hop on. And I'll just go ahead and um, start with my specials. If you order from me to, um, this week until the 30th, You'll receive 25 sheets of retired DSP, 25 sheets with a $35 order. It comes packaged like this. Each sheet is different. I sent out a bunch yesterday. All, a lot of um, things came in. Hi, Beverly. And I was able to send a lot of packages out. So if you've ordered from me in the month, hi, Mary Jo. If you've ordered from me in the month, please check your mailbox in about three or four days. <laughs> Then if you order $50 in product for me, good morning, Lynn, I'll add in sponge daubers. It's not that you just get the sponge daubers, you get the paper and the sponge daubers. Then if you go up to $100, I'll add in a wink of Stella pen, okay? And um, these are the sponge daubers, and of course mine are used. They come in a package. Uh, and then I'll add in the wink of Stella. So for the $100 order until the 30th, you'll get the paper, a pack of sponge daubers and a wink of Stella. Okay, hi Kelly. So that's my special till the end of the month. My specials change every month. I like to have fun with them. So, so. hi Jane. Good morning. Just going over some of my specials while um, while everyone hops on. Good morning, everyone. Wonderful, wonderful. What a busy day I've got planned. I've got face-to-face -face video to do. I've got to mow the yard. I've got. You know, I gotta go to Walmart, um, yeah, pay some bills, do that kind of thing. I got a busy day today. Hi, Judith. Oh, I know, right, Patty? Isn't this ador this little bird <laughs> is so cute. Now, um, when I start, and I've learned this, I've learned this because I took um, uh, Rhonda Wade's Creating Success for a year. Uh, and I would still, uh, my daughter, oh, she's good, uh, surgery, not yet. Not yet. Surgery's on the 4th. She's okay for right now. Yeah. Thank you for asking, Lynn. Um, it's snowing. What? Patty said it's snowing. Oh, my word, Patty. Oh, my goodness. It's, Patty says it's snowing. That's amazing. That is amazing. It's going to be really pretty here. I'll get up to about 65 today. So, it's a good day to mow. Hi, Mary. Okay. So, when I was taking that course... Um, uh, with Rhonda, uh, the best way to learn how to use product. Hi, Kathy. Oh my gosh, Kathy. Did you not love This Is Us last night? Okay, let's just stop for just a minute. And oh my goodness, Donna says it's snowing in Michigan too. I, I cannot believe it. Oh my goodness. Good morning, Joan. Did anybody watch This Is Us last night? Let's just stop for just a second, okay? Are we not all happy? Kevin is with Sophie. I just love it. I just love it. So, <laughs> so I'm really going to be um, sad when the show ends. I, I, Yes, I know, Kathy. I was so happy they were together. I know, right? And and I love the way they played it out. I, I, uh, I love the show. I love the writing. I love everything about it, so... Okay, so back to this. So anyway, when I took the um, the Creating Success with Rhonda, yes, Sophie and Kevin, it's awesome. I know that's what I really wanted. Of course, I love her in Virgin River, you know. Yay, I know I wanted Kevin to be happy, okay. I think that kid has tried like through the whole entire show, you know, to be a good person and to learn from life and, you know, and I think that that's kind of what his character was um, kind of teaching, you know, is that, um, you know, life is, uh, I do too, Kathy, I love Virgin River, um, uh, that life is, is, uh, is a big learning experience. Oh my goodness, the val I cried, okay? I cried that Valentine, oh my gosh, I cried. I mean, that is, you know, true love. Hey, Steve, which reminds me, okay, so 
I don't, I don't have my purse in here, but um, here Steve pops on, okay? Because and you all know, uh, if you follow me, Steve was like my very first love in high school, and you know we were the deal. I still have a ring that he and I uh, purchased in Florida, way, way, way back in the seventies, and I carry it in my purse. I have never ever. It has gone in every single purse I have ever owned. Um, in my entire life, okay, because that kind of, um, I don't know, teenage sweet love like that, hi Sandy, um, you just can't ever get that back, I'm so happy that Kevin and Sophie are together, and I'm very happy that Steve and I are friends, you know, um, so uh, yeah, that kind of stuff, when I saw that Valentine, that's exactly what that made me, Soap Joe was the best. I know, right? The val Oh, I know. The Valentine he made Sophie was the best. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So, yes. So, I get it, you know. I mean, I I can honestly say in my own heart I get it. And uh yeah, so uh yeah, so I just thought I'd share that with you. But anyway, the um the Valentine reminded me of that ring that I carry and um yes, I I can I I get it. I really really do. So anyway, back to this. Um, I digress, right? <laughs> For when, when I was like 16, 17 to 19, 16 to 19. So that, that's about when all of that went on. So hi, Gloria. Um, okay, so um, anyway, Rhonda taught us that the best way to learn about product in the catalog, hi, Joyce, um, is to case. And casing is copy and share everything. That's when you case a card. You let the good one get away, Steve. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. I don't know. I don't know, you know? Yeah, I'm not sure about that, but thank you. Um, so, uh, yes, we, you know, so when I case in the catalog, when a new catalog comes, I like to case, or at least get ideas from casing the catalog. And um, this is what I came up with. There's a little card on page 31. That's kind of like this, but this is what I came up with. I also wanted to use, I love this, this little piece of wood here where you can hang it from the branch. It's just too stinking cute, right? So, um, and here's the inside. All right, so we're going to use a bunch of colors today. Uh, the only new in color I'm using is the sweet sorbet for the little beak. Uh, other than that, I'm using Granny Apple Green, Fresh Freesia, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Tuxedo Memento Black Ink. I know this came out so cute. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go ahead. And I got envelopes. While we're talking about that, let's go ahead and uh, move this in. And we will go ahead and start with our envelope here. I'm so happy I have envelopes, right? And I'm gonna start with my branch. I have all of my uh, stamps mounted and I'm going to start with, oh, I forgot, a little early espresso. And my early espresso, hi Julie, is very, very dried out. And I have, I think it's four spots of early espresso. So I thought I would just use these guys until I needed to get a re-inker, you know? So I'm just gonna ink up this little branch for our envelope and um, go ahead and stamp it off just a little bit and up at an angle just a little bit so that it makes a little arc. Good morning, everyone. What a great day. Okay, then I'm gonna take these little, uh, this uh, grouping of leaves and these are made so that they come right out here on the, um, why am I getting a phone call? Okay, that's gotta be, there we go, sorry. Um, and so that's gonna come right out here on the end of this twig and it's made to fit right there. Hi, Peggy. Let's use a little Granny Apple Green with this. And now watch how I do these leaves because I think that this is kind of the way it's done in the catalog. So I'm gonna take my Granny Apple Green and I'm gonna stamp. Then I'm gonna come to one side or the other and I'm gonna stamp again. Isn't that a nice way to use this leaf? I would have never thought to do that. Like I said, I was taught um, in uh, Creating Success that if you use a lot of things in the catalog when you first start, it's going to teach you how to use the set. 
Oh, you're going to love this set, Mary. The little bird, the musical note, this whole thing is just too cute. Just too cute. Now, I'm going to take this teeny tiny flower in fresh freesia, and I'm just going to put flowers around the greenery. Just like that. Oh, my goodness. That's so pretty, right? Now, on the back... I'm going to do about the same thing. On my other envelope, I came off the page a little bit, and I kind of didn't like that look. So I'm going to just use the entire branch on the back. This was the first set I ordered in the pre-order. Love it. Wonderful, Julie. Wonderful. <clears throat> I'm going to go right here. Yep. See, I came off of here on an angle. I mean, it's okay, but I... I kind of like seeing the whole thing. I don't know. Then I'm going to come in, Granny Apple Green, and I'm going to go here, and then just to one side. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where you take it. Then we'll come in again with some fresh freesia, and just go ahead and put flowers. This is so pretty. I'm so glad you guys like this set. This is a fun set. Too cute, right? Just for an envelope. It took five seconds, right? All right. Now, let's go ahead and move on to um, our card. And the, this is the um, measurements are so simple. The card base is fresh freesia, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then you just cut two pieces of basic white, four and three quarter by three and a half. One for the inside, one for the outside. Let's go ahead and start with our inside piece. And um, I'm going to go ahead. Thanks for sharing, Mary. I appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then my Stampin' Up! is upside down, right? <laughs> there we go. All right. And let's open everything over here. Sweet Sorbet, which is such a beautiful color. Daffodil Delight. Coastal Cabana. Okay. And black. Hi, Jill. Okay, now up in this corner right here, I'm going to use the sentiment, you've got something to celebrate. I'm gonna do that in Fresh Freesia. Right up there. Pretty. Now I'm gonna put my little bird here. I found though, that with these little birds, um, oh, you're fine, Beverly, thank you. No problem. It, you know, you can always watch the replay. Um, with these little birds, I kind of found that um, putting their little feet down was then a little bit easier to line up the bird. So I think, okay? So let's, let's do this. I'm going to do his little feet in early espresso. And this one I'm using the bird that looks to the left. And look at this little feet. Aren't they cute? So I'm going to leave enough room here for the tail, and I'm just going to stamp those little feet. Cute. Now let's go ahead and get our bird, our little songbird. And like I said, this one's looking to the left. We have two. Where's that? Where's my other one? Did I mount it? Oh, here. We're gonna. I'm gonna have to mount this because it's the main part of the card. How funny. So now let, let's take a look at this because this is so stinking cute. Okay. They can be on a card singing to each other. Okay, that's what, too, is what it's kind of set up like. Okay, so this will be the outside one. All right, so now in Daffodil Delight. <clears throat> All right, now let's bring this down. Now, this is the way, too, that I like that I stamp the feet first because you can... Um, you can turn the bird just a little bit to have it like looking up and tweeting, you know, or being like this. See, you could turn it like this and make those little feet touch the bottom of the little bird. You could turn it like that. I'm going to use it just like this. But, you know, you have a little leverage here on the angle of how you want the little bird to sing. So there we go. Isn't that cute? See, my little feet came out really, really nice. 
I found this out after I had made this card and see how I'm off of the branch here just a little bit, which is fine, you know, but I'd like to be just a little bit closer to the branch. So um, we're gonna uh, kind of work with that uh, when we get to the front. A little sweet sorbet now on the beak. I'm gonna bring this in here. Just like that, oh, so cute. And let's see, my little eyes right here, and it's gonna be like the blinking eyes. You put any eyes that you want. This makes the bird. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. Now let's go ahead and give it some notes because it's singing happy birthday, right? We have something to celebrate. That's why I thought that this would be. Have a happy birthday kind of card. And I mean, well, you've got something to celebrate. My goodness, you could have gotten a job promotion. You could have, um, what color yellow? Um, this is Daffodil Delight. This is Daffodil Delight. And thank you for watching from work. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you so much. So we're going to put some notes there. Like we are really busy singing. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness. Hi, Julie. Hi, Janie. No problem. No problem. Thank you so much for being on here. Shh, don't tell my boss. Okay, I won't. We won't. We will not. We will not say a word. Not a word. So I'm going to put this right here in the center. Look how pretty the Daffodil Delight and the Fresh Freesia Hygiene look together. Isn't that pretty? You know, I know that we've got all the in colors that came out that are just so beautiful, but... Um, you know, these sets are great with any other color also. Oh, thanks for the hearts, guys. I appreciate it. So I'm going to put this in here in the inside of the card. Yeah, so here, okay, you've got something to celebrate. You, you might have had, somebody might have had a baby. Somebody might have graduated. You know, good morning, Karen. So, you know, there's a many, many things in life that we can celebrate, right? Okay, so let's now start with the outside of the card. I'm going to move that to the side. <clears throat> and now I'm going to bring in my scrap paper because I am going to go off the page some. Cannot wait to order this set. Okay. Oh, and um, I, just, I, I just got a message about my paper share. Um, I sent out an email about it so if you guys are wanting a paper share um, you can contact me or um, it's thirty dollars and i'm using 12 of the dsps that are in um in the new catalog the main uh designer series paper so i forgot to say that love the little yellow bird my favorite color oh i love fresh freesia i know okay so now here in the center we want to place our uh, little branch here. I order the set just waiting for Stampin' Up! to ship. Yes, ma'am, for sure. Hi, Verna. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for dropping in. Okay, now let's go ahead and put this here. I'm going to drop this down because uh, you always learn when you make something. I'm going to just drop this down just a little bit more. I kind of did in the middle of the... Um, of the page there, of the piece of paper. I wanna drop it down just a little bit. Not much though. Like in the lower third, I think I'm going to, and then right here in the center. I used to have a yellow VW bug. Yes, I love yellow. Now, what we wanna do, I wanna go ahead and put my greenery on the ends. So I'm going to come here, and then I'm going to come over, just kind of double stamping right there to get the second generation, hi Carol, of that beautiful, beautiful leaf with um, Granny Apple Green. Now over here, I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to place this one, the trio, kind of at the end, and I don't care where these land. They're just, hi Lori, I have a lot of new people on here this morning. Thank you for joining. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the second generation. Okay, so, and then I'm going to come back in. And let's come down here 
And now just have fun with the leaves. Just kind of fill in with them. Hi, Roxanne. Just like that. Double, doing a little double stamping here, there, and then move it. Beautiful. Just like that. I think I want one up here. Let me come in with this. Like right about there, yeah. And then here, okay. All right, I like that. Okay, so, you know, just have fun with your uh, greenery there. Now let's go ahead in with our little flower. And this time, instead of fresh freesia, because we're gonna mount this on fresh freesia, um, mag wheels, real Herbie, right? I had, mine was a convertible, it was so cute. I loved it, I, I wore it out. Yes, I absolutely wore that car out because I loved it so much. So I checked my color chart and with Fresh Freesia, um, Coastal Cabana goes quite well and it does. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my flowers just in these little areas. So three here and maybe like five over here. Not too many, we're just accenting with our flowers and our color. Paint it like a ladybug. I know, right? I've seen them with the little, um, the eyes in the front for the headlights, our eyelashes, it makes them look like eyes, you know, for the headlights. I think that's so cute. I think I can sneak one right in there. Yes, ah, I love it. Okay, perfect. Hi, Belinda. Okay, now, what, we want, what I want to do is add my little feet. And I'm using now the other feet that point to the right. I think I'm done with being off the page here, right? Okay, move this. But I still need my mat because we're using photopolymer stamps. And there, these stamps that are clear are photopolymer. If you're new to stamping up and new to stamping, that's what these are called, photopolymer. And you can look through them, and, but you need a little cushion. Uh, to get a really nice solid stamp. So the little feet I'm gonna do in early espresso. And I just want them, I know, right? Would you have ever thought the Coastal Cabana? But I used my color chart and that's what it said. So I was okay with that. So here I'm going to just let like the toe of this uh, foot that's to the left here, just kind of come onto the branch, hopefully a little closer than what I got it the first time. But not like, oh yes, that's perfect. Not like you would look at this and go, oh, that's wrong, okay? It's not, you know, it's just my eye and w the way that I want it to look. So see, I got that a little bit closer and I like putting that little part of the um, feet, I don't know if you'd call that its toe, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so I put that one toward the branch a little bit closer. Okay, now, and now what we want to do is in the kit right here is a line, okay? And it's this right here. You would never think, okay? Uh, traveled the U.S. in a bug when I was, oh, yes. Oh, you did? Really? Hi, Kay. You know, Lynn was um, uh, on the archery. Uh, weren't you an Olympic arch? Didn't you do archery in the Olympics, something like that, where you were pro or something? Yeah, Lynn was like really, really good at that. Like super good. Okay, so this little line here, yes, I thought so. Yes, it was Olympic, yes. Okay, I thought we had had that conversation. So, um, hi Kay. So this little line is right here. And then we have this little block of wood, which is very, very interesting because I'm thinking even of this as like, uh, almost like a background stamp somewhere. I don't know. I have other ideas with this also. Now I'm going to get a piece of, um, this is, <laughs> look at this. This is from when we did a lot of masking, right? So it's, I just had it laying here. It's just a sticky note. You could get any kind of piece of paper, whisper white cardstock, whatever. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it here on the branch where I want my, um, where I want the line to go because see I don't want the line to come up on the branch okay so I'm kind of mass I am masking that okay and now I'm gonna just take my little line into my early espresso and I'm just going to stamp okay take that 
and then I'm going to come over here and stamp. Perfect. Now I'm going to remove that and see, it just looks like this is just hanging right there. Isn't that cute? Isn't that adorable? Just by using just a piece of paper. No big deal. No, no tricks or, you know, uh, crazy cutting or anything like that. Just kind of hold this off, off, of, you know, and just block out. I didn't even tape it down. Nothing. So, um, and that's how you get your two little lines. Isn't that nice? I had a 1970, it was 17 when I bought it, 73 Beetle, brand new, I love my bug. Oh, Roxanne, that's so cool. What color was it? Now, um, here is the little block of wood, okay? But I wanna stamp some sentiment on this. So, good morning, Glenda. So what I'm gonna do is I want, it, I want it a little bit lighter, but I want it in the same shade. You can also use crumb cake if you wanted to, I think. But I've got my early espresso open, so I'm just going to ink this up. I'm gonna get my piece of scrap paper. I'm going to stamp it off, okay? That's the first generation. White, oh my goodness, oh, I love that. I remember they had come out with an anniversary white that was absolutely to die for. And I'm going to place this right here. There we go. Oh, perfect, I'm so happy with that. Okay, all right, now let's go ahead into the Tuxedo Memento Black Ink. We played Slug Bug when we were dry. I love that. I know, right? Every Did everybody not play that? Yes, definitely. Um, a little bird told me. My mom used to say that to me all the time. When I saw this in print, I went, oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> this I have to get just for this alone, even if I didn't like the stamp set, which, I mean, how could you not? But um, just for this alone, only because my mother used to say that to me. All the time. A little bird told me. Here we go. We called it punch bug. Yes, we did do punch bug, but I, yeah. Look how cute that is, that little sign. Oh my goodness, adorable, right? Okay, now let's move that aside. Oh, I'm having so much fun with all of my stamps. Okay, now what I wanna do is get a piece of scrap right here, and we're gonna make our, our other little bird. Um, so here it is, and I'm gonna stamp this in Daffodil Delight. Now this one will punch out because this uh, set comes with a punch. So I'm just gonna put my little bird right here. Just like that. And I'm gonna bring in my punch. Now here in the punch, you have a wing, we have the little beak, and we have a little belly right here. And I, I didn't use any of these, I just used the bird. Your husband, you still play it when you drive? I think that's so sweet. So, okay, so we're gonna just put this into the punch. Best we can here. There we go. There we go. And, um, and here we have this absolutely adorable little bird. Now, like I said, we could also punch the, um, the wing and put the little wing on. I just liked it just plain. I really, for this card, I just liked it without anything. Um, so, but you could do whatever you want. This is sweet sorbet for its little beak. Sometimes I got to pull this down. It's hard to see this little beak, um, over top of this might be a little off. No, we did pretty good. Okay. There we go. And now it's little blinking eyes right here. And this is what gives your little guy character. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Let's go ahead and stick two dimensionals on the back of this. Here we go. Right there. And right there. <clears throat> And let's bring our little part that we just did all of our stamping on. I put a black wing on and called it a gold finch. I love that. A gold, I didn't know that. See, I don't know about birds or anything like that. So yes, you do, yes, make them as cute as you can. Look at how cute. Okay, that's adorable, right? Now, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do my notes. 
because of course we're singing. And now I'm just using black on the notes, um, but you can of course use any color that you wanted to. And another set right here. And then another set right here. Now for this card, I decided to use some rhinestones. Let me get them. I need to order rhinestones, don't I? And I'm gonna use the medium size and I'm going to color them with the Daffodil Delight. Like, um, let's see, this row right in here, this row right here, these three. I think that's awesome, Patty. Oh, thank you, Roxanne. So now I want my um, rhinestones to be Daffodil Delight and I'm using the medium size, not the small and not the biggest. So I just color them with blends. They can be colored any color you want. You can make them. Your rhinestones color. So here we go. Let's go ahead and put these guys on here. A little bit of sunshine just shining through with our rhinestones here. You put this one here. And this one over here. Cute. Okay, now let's bring this card base in. And now you can pop this up with dimensionals or put it down with um, Tombow. I think I'm going to do mine with Tombow just for, you know, mailing purposes so that it's thin. So cute, right? Look how sweet. And see, this being smaller, the little bird can come up. Now, look at the two of them. See, because here, my branch was in the middle. Hi, Pauline. And here, I dropped the branch down a little bit. I had a little bit more room to put my bird, but which is fine. This one came up, and it fit on there fine also. So, we did okay. We did just great. So I hope you like the little idea there with the double stamping, you know, uh, the second generation. Hi, Roxanne. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, my, my daughter uh, will be having surgery next week, next week on the 4th. I will not be on Wednesday next week, uh, but I'm, I'm trying to get caught up and get ahead with everything so that... Um, I will have videos that will release, okay? Isn't that cute? This is my card for today. And with our adorable, yay, I got my envelopes in. I have I have cards to make envelopes with now for, you know, because of not making them last week. There we go. Isn't that adorable? See, this one's dropped down just a little bit. I'm, I mean, it, it, I don't really think it matters, um, but yeah, they came out really, really cute really cute with this um sweet songbirds this is a bundle in the new catalog on page 31 so and the new catalog releases on the third you might want to if you like this you might hi carol thank you you might want to put this on your wish list if you're not already a demonstrator we got to pre-order this um because it was on the pre-order list with the new catalog so uh, really really i'm glad that they opened this one up really Really glad they opened this one up early to us. Happy with this card. All right, guys, I will be on here Sunday at 7. Um, and uh, just going to, oh, thank you, Kathy. Just going to have fun for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, just a busy day here. So that's wonderful. I hope you guys will go to your craft room and do some happy crafting. If you do have this set, please, if you like this card, go ahead and case it. I think it came out so cute. And remember the little tip with the just a piece of paper to let this hang to make it look like that, okay? All right, guys, please have a wonderful day and be safe. I'll see you Sunday at 7 on this Facebook page. Thanks again.